Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Steve again. We're going to continue our classes on PHP and how to use and write PHP. Uh, this is class number three, and today we're going to be discussing variables. What is a variable? A variable is um, information that's assigned to a fixed target that is allowed to change during the program. And, uh, so, uh, a value is actually assigned to a word or a number and then it is used up and changed as we go. Let me explain. Let's get started. On the computer here, um, I'm going to go ahead and open up my web server directory. I'm going to make a new uh, text document. We're going to call this, um, let's just call it uh, var, var for variable.php. Yeah, I want to change the extension. I'm going to go ahead and open that up so we can begin editing. Now, if you'd watched my other classes, you know that um, the way that you start a new PHP um, tag is to begin with this, just like that. We drop down here and we're going to make a comment. This is a test. Um, now, um, a variable starts with a dollar sign. So if I have a dollar sign and I make it dollar sign W-O-R-D, this is called a string. And a string is our actual variable. So I'm going to say a string word equals, and then I'm going to do a quotation mark, Steve. Quotation mark, and then we're going to end it with a semicolon. Remember that semicolon? So we have just assigned the value of Steve to string word. Uh, when you say the dollar sign before the variable, use the phrase string. So instead of dollar sign word, say string word or variable word equals Steve. Now to test this out, we're going to say print string word semicolon. Now, remember, to end this, we have to close PHP this way. Let's go ahead and save this, and then we'll talk about it before we run the code. So the first line of code is telling the interpreter that PHP is coming. The, the line right here is just a comment for ourselves that explains that we're testing PHP. Line 6 here says that um, word is our variable and our variable is equal to Steve and then we want to print the variable word to the screen and then we want to end our code so let's go ahead and um, come to our web browser var.php we're going to call our code enter and there we have it, it printed my name to the screen. What it actually printed was the variable which is word. So if I had changed this to um, the word test and I still print string word, it should put the word uh, test up on the screen. Let's see. Let's refresh that. So there it is. So no matter what the the string is, it's going to print it out. So let's just say this is a test. So string word is now equal to this is a test. And I'm going to print string word. We'll save. We're going to reload. So there it is. Let's try something a little different. Let's um, let's come in here and say um, any word can be a variable. Let's put uh, string word too. 
Uh, this one will equal this. Whoops. This is a test for our second part. Okay, so I, whoops, we gotta close that out with a semicolon. And then I could put down here, print string word two, semicolon. Looks like I made a little mistake right there. So what should happen here is it should print, uh, this is a test, and then it should print, this is a test for our second part. Let's see what happens. Save. Reload. And it did, and it merged these together. Now how do we merge them apart? There's a couple things we can do, but the easiest is if we just use our tags that we get from HTML, BR statement, save, let's reload. There we have it. Okay, after you've seen these examples, hopefully it, it makes perfect sense to you that we can store any um, text information into a variable and then we can print a variable to a screen. Now, um, we can also store numbers that can have operators assigned to them within variables, such as I'm going to do string number equals. Um, let's make it a hundred. Okay, string number equals 100. So the string of number equals 100. Now I'm just going to say print string number. Don't forget that semicolon at the end. Let's save. And let's reload. So it print 100 to our screen. It's printing number, and we could also change this to echo. Save, reload, and it's still 100. I just wanted to show you how we could do some simple math on this. So if I jump down and I say string number equals string number plus five. So our number six statement uh, assigns 100 to string number and then um, this line says that number equals number plus five so that that should mean that number is now equal to 105 and then it should echo the number which should equal 105 to the screen. Let's see if it works. Save. Refresh. 105. Hey, it works great. So this is the beginning of variables. There is naturally many, many um, twists and turns to this, but these are the basics to get started. You can put all the operators that you would expect in here with variables. This would be the division uh, divided by 5. Let's try that. Save. Reload. Would be 20. So uh, 100 divided by 5 is 20. You could multiply with a star. Hundred times five, save, reload, is 500. You can also do minus and percentages and a lot and all the other operators as well. So I hope this gives you a good understanding. I don't like to go too fast. I like you to play with these uh, practices that I'm showing you. So play with the variables uh, and um, see where it takes you. Okay, I will have more classes. I hope that you thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any classes. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.